All right, good morning. Happy uh, Thursday, March 19th, 2020. And this is your first assignment now uh, from our quarantine. Okay. So yesterday I had to get set up on Flipgrid. Hopefully you made your introductory videos. Okay. Today you're going to start this assignment, which will also end with an introductory, not an introductory, a different video on Flipgrid. Okay. So we're going to apply the principles of Humanae Vitae to a different bioethical or marriage related issue. So what's this assignment? You're going to research an issue related to marriage and sexuality and create a video response no longer than three minutes. You know what? Just oh. on Flipgrid explaining how the principles expressed in Humanae Vitae apply to your issue. You'll need to research your assigned topic. Okay, you're going to do that on your own. You'll have three days to do that. Determine which teachings in Humanae Vitae are relevant to it, and then come to a conclusion as to whether or not your topic is compatible with those teachings. Okay. So this is a 15-point assignment, homework, classwork category, first assignment in quarter four. All right. Uh, okay, a little rubric here. Your first third of the grade is going to be explaining your topic well enough that someone who has never heard of it before will understand the essentials of what it is and how it works. Okay, so your potential topics, and I will assign these randomly, are in vitro fertilization, surrogacy, cloning, and polygamy. Most people have heard of these things, but they may not understand them all that well. So your first task, you can split it up one minute per thing if you want to. Explain how that works, what it is, and how it works. Okay, the next portion of your grade will be properly identifying at least one major principle from Humanae Vitae that's relevant to your topic. Then explain how it is relevant and quote at least one passage from the document itself. Okay, so it's going to be helpful to start probably with the Google Slides presentation that I posted on Classroom. That will kind of give you a guide, all right, what section of the document might be relevant. Then you're going to actually have to go to the document itself and find some, uh, find at least one quote and kind of dig into it. Okay. And then finally, the third uh, part of your grade will be correctly applying the principles from Humanae Vitae to your topic and then concluding whether or not your issue here fits with those principles and uh, give adequate support. Okay. Uh, all right. So in theory, it sounds simple enough, but um, I will do an example video here. All right, so this will be due by 10 p.m. on Monday, March 23rd. That gives you all day today, uh, tomorrow, and then Monday itself to research, dig into the document, uh, and go over that, as well as uh, some opportunities for um, office hours with me. Remember my office hours from noon to 1.30. At least from noon to 1, I'll be on Zoom, so you can, you can get on there and we can chat about this if you've got questions. Okay, let's go over to... Flipgrid, this is my uh, practice grid, but I've got my, my new topic here, Applying Humanae Vitae. little uh, description here of the assignment itself, okay, which is what I just told you. All right, then you just pop down here when you're all ready, record a response. All right, so let's do this. You can see a little three-minute timer up there. That's your limit. Okay, uh, my topic for applying Humanae Vitae is one that I'm not assigning to you, but it's same-sex marriage because it's obviously related to marriage and sexuality. What is same-sex marriage? Okay, this is a referring to a romantic and sexual relationship between two men or two women, which the state officially recognizes as marriage. Okay, so it's basically just like a man and a woman getting married, except it's two men or two women. All right. How does this square with Humanae Vitae? Well, the most relevant section in Humanae Vitae is going to be section 12. Okay, That section talks about how the marital act or the sexual act has two intrinsic meanings intended by God, uh, which are inseparable. So the unitive and the procreative meanings of sex. All right. These are things that God means he intends for that action to uh, be oriented towards. Okay. And you can't separate those two things. So if we try to uh, separate the procreative and unitive meanings of sexuality, then we are changing the meaning of that action to something other than what God wants it to be or intends for it to be. All right. Uh, so quote here from Humanae Vitae 12, okay, because of its intrinsic nature, the marital act, which unites husband and wife in the closest of bonds, unitive, also makes them capable of bringing forth new life, 
procreated according to the laws written into their very natures as males and females. In other words, men and women have this natural complementarity that when they engage in this unitive act, by nature that action is also capable of bringing forth new life. Okay. Now, in, in certain circumstances, any given act may or may not result in new life. Uh, they may be infertile for reasons outside of their control, in which case that act is not, in fact, going to create new life. Okay, But by its nature, the action is still capable of it. In other words, if everything's working properly, then that action is capable of bringing forth new life. Okay. How does that apply to same-sex marriage? While a sexual relationship between two men or two women lacks that natural complementarity, okay, and is by its nature incapable of bringing forth new life. In other words, that procreative meaning is completely removed from that, okay? So uh, a sexual act between two men or two women by its nature actually changes the meaning of human sexuality to something other than what God intends for it to be, okay? So that's the teaching of humanity vitae. That's how it applies to same-sex marriage. That's why same-sex marriage is not compatible with the understanding of human sexuality expressed in humanity vitae. So, just bear with this. Topic for applying. Yeah, okay. And then, of course, you can do uh, fancy editing if you wish to. You can trim it, clip it, whatever. Uh, if you want to write some stuff on there, you can pull up a board. You can do a little drawing, to, you know, make it pop, bring some points home, okay? Stickers, I showed you how to do that with uh, Chris Mystery yesterday. Uh, oh, this is a selfie, sorry. Selfie options. Um, oh, so you can just pick a frame from the video. But instead of that, hmm, what should my selfie be? I don't know. I don't have any creative ideas. I do have another Chris Mystery next to me, though. Yeah, I uh, still haven't taken down my Christmas tree yet. So that'll work. Wow, my head looks funny there. Okay. Um, accessories. Monocle. there. Add some drift. Why not? Okay. So there you have it, right? There's my uh, video summary. Three minutes, succinct. So what you're going to have to do is not just do the research and figure out what you're going to say, but you're really going to have to shrink it down as well. Okay. So boil it down to the very, very essentials. Um, that's kind of the goal. I was going to make this a two minute time limit and then I tried it and I was like, this is impossible. Three minutes should be enough. Okay, you're just going to have to be very succinct. Don't close the window. Prepare in your video, Casey. All right, I'll wait. Yeah, Casey V. Yeah. Sex marriage. And human sorry. Submit video. Congrats, KCV. Your video is now visible. Cool. And now, boom. Obviously, you've got the response there. You can pull it up. Preparing. Right. Cool. And then I don't have a rubric on there. Um, but I will give, I can give you video feedback or I can just type in comments and uh, give you a grade. Okay. It's like uh, out of five. So that's cool. All right. Um, I think that's about all I need to tell you in terms of how to do this. Okay. I will be checking then Flipgrid and uh, grading stuff, giving you all feedback. And I'll do that next week after you've turned this stuff in. I don't think there's anything else I need to do, but if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email and or uh, come to my office hours starting from noon, going till one on Zoom and then 1.30 with email and such after that. All right. Um, good luck. Thank you.